Do you want to believe? Then here's where you should start looking for answers. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alien documentaries to watch. I mean, it's all encompassed as one thing alien technology and science. We're taking a look at popular and provocative alien documentaries. We will not be including long running series like Ancient Aliens. Let's get to it. Millions of people around the world believe we have been visited in the past by extraterrestrial beings. What if it were true? Number 10, Bob Lazar, Area 51 and Flying Saucers. My name's Bob Lazar. I'm known for working at a classified base known as S-4 out in the Nevada desert near Area 51. And there, we reverse engineered alien spacecraft. Your mileage may vary with this one depending on how much stock you put into Bob Lazar and his famous story. For those of you who don't know, Bob Lazar is perhaps the most notorious alien conspiracy theorist in the world, as he claims to have both seen aliens and worked on alien spacecraft near Area 51. And even though his story has been tossed aside by both skeptics and ufologists, this doc about his claims that aired on Netflix gave him a monumental platform to spread his story. The big thing is the suppression of extremely advanced technology and the suppression of unknown science. For newcomers looking to explore one of the most popular extraterrestrial conspiracy theories ever, start here. And quite frankly, I could make up a better lie, but I have no motivation to lie. Number 9. Sean Ryder on UFOs You may know Sean Ryder as the frontman for Happy Mondays, a rock dance indie group that was extremely popular in the UK in the late 80s and early 90s. What you may not know is that he claims to have personally encountered aliens. I saw a ball of light whizzing about in the night sky as I stood at a bus stop. I knew then and then I'd seen a UFO. His lifelong obsession with the idea of extraterrestrials led to a documentary where he interviewed people who have also claimed to have seen or been abducted by aliens. It's not really convincing if you don't believe in aliens in the first place, but regardless of your views on that, no one can deny that these stories are hella entertaining. What I saw, the fast moving side to side, zigzagging off. Number eight, Mirage Men. Mirage Men is a different kind of UFO documentary and is all the more interesting for it. It follows the titular government agents, specifically retired special agent Richard Doty, Doty worked for the United States Air Force Office of Special Investigations and claims that he and his team helped perpetuate and spread UFO mythology. Would we use perception to help shroud what we're trying to protect? Absolutely. They did this by spreading misinformation and manipulating famous ufologists, all to draw the public's attention away from the clandestine Cold War technologies and experiments. If they're convinced that it's from Venus, then there's no way it could be our military. Well, hey, you know, that's, that's awesome. Hell yes. The government has always claimed that aliens do not exist. Regardless of whether or not that's true, they leave out an important part of the story. They're partially responsible for fostering the very idea that they do. Whatever is going on, it's happening at a government level. Everything that I do is being watched. Number seven, the secret NASA transmissions, the smoking gun. History will surely go on to determine the truth, provided that is, others within the scientific community are equally prepared to explore the limitless possibilities now before them. If you're looking for proof that extraterrestrials exist, you may as well go straight to NASA. And that's exactly what this documentary does. This one chronicles the history of astronauts sighting UFOs, but it also contains the titular and mind-bending smoking gun, that is, imagery taken from video cameras installed on space shuttle missions. The documentary takes the raw footage from those cameras and presents them to the viewer in a clear manner. Whereas lesser documentaries would scream, look, that's totally a UFO, this one allows you to analyze the footage and decide for yourself. Did NASA capture extraterrestrial life on camera? Maybe, maybe not. You'll just have to watch and find out. And then they continued as if nothing happened. As if, if nothing had happened. Yet, I've, it's right on tape. Audio, video, and you see the object they're referring to. Number six, the day before disclosure. Five minutes later, this happens. And the object appears in front of them at a distance of about 400 meters. There's nothing particularly original about the day before disclosure. 
It's just a very well-told and impeccably produced documentary that presents some tantalizing evidence for viewers to chew on. The film clearly shows the outline and the structure of the object, and also what seems to be the silhouette of two beings inside. It contains a lot of traditional information, including stories of implants, alien abductions, and interviews with respected people like scholars and astronauts. Of course, much like Sean Ryder on UFOs, your enjoyment of this documentary hinges entirely on whether or not you believe these people's stories. There is little evidence to speak of, and skeptics will pounce on the outsized tales. But when the stories are this entertaining, and when a documentary is this well made, it's worthy of note. They look sort of like half human, half alien. Sometimes they look more human, actually. Number 5. Unacknowledged. This got kicked up to the intelligence community. So by 1992, I was getting visits from the head of Army Intelligence, uh, people inside the National Security Agency, and other three-lettered agencies. Unacknowledged primarily concerns Stephen M. Greer, perhaps one of the most prominent ufologists in the world. Greer is the creator of both the Center for the Study of Extraterrestrial Intelligence and the Disclosure Project. In the service of the latter, this doc contains a bunch of original purported UFO footage and looks to expose high-level governmental operations meant to sustain UFO secrecy. At the time, in development. And the second item, B, flying saucers exist, period. C, their modus operandi is unknown, but concentrated effort is being made by a small group headed by Dr. Vannevar Bush. It presents historical events in a new light and directly points a finger at many prominent and well-known government officials. As with many alien documentaries, it presents what it deems compelling evidence to suggest an official cover-up and is recommended viewing for believers and skeptics alike. From professional debunkers to CIA-funded committees, our trusted academics and scientists have been complicit in the secrecy. Number 4. Hangar 1 – The UFO Files Through the media, we are already sensitized to the possibility of alien life forms. This documentary concerns the archived files of MUFON. MUFON stands for the Mutual UFO Network, an organization consisting of thousands of members across dozens of countries who study alleged UFO sightings. So if you want to hear the greatest and most credible UFO sightings of all time, look no further than Hangar 1 The UFO Files. Sure, this all definitely might not transform skeptics into believers, as a lot of these stories are just as bizarre as you probably imagine. In the late 40s, the US military recovered a spacecraft of unknown origin that utilized extraordinarily advanced technology for propulsion, communication, surveillance, and scientific inquiry. But they are told with utter conviction, the recreations are entertaining, and it's fascinating to get a glimpse into one of the biggest UFO-believing networks in the world. An alien-created microcircuitry artifact was delivered to Bell Labs. Number 3. UFOs Past, Present, and Future They were forced to come up with an answer to really quiet growing speculation that Mantell had been killed by hostile aliens and some flying saucer. There's something profoundly unsettling watching an older alien documentary from the 70s. There's just something creepy about old, grainy, color-washed footage. As for the nature of this doc's content, it consists of the typical talking heads and barely discernible UFO footage, and it touches on a lot of popular American UFO stories, like the Betty and Barney Hill incident. It seems a retired rear admiral had information about a woman in Upper Maine that purported to have established contact with extraterrestrial beings. Two naval intelligence officers were sent to investigate. But perhaps the greatest thing about it is that two of its hosts are the Twilight Zone creator Rod Serling and none other than Rocky's Burgess Meredith. The star power, stories, and interviews all make this a documentary well worth watching. We came back to the room. We we're put back in the car the same way as we were taken out. Number two, the search for life, the Drake equation. And I don't know about you, but when I look up, I can't help but wonder what or who else might be out there. This is a fantastic documentary that stands out from the pack in a number of intriguing ways. For one thing, it treats the possibility of alien civilizations in a scientific manner, not so much as gray, massive-headed beings that abduct and probe you. 
It explores the famed Drake Equation, a probabilistic argument that was concocted by astrophysicist Frank Drake in 1961. I've been intrigued that a simple scientific formula could tell us so much about the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence. Following a complicated mathematical equation that the vast majority of lay people don't really understand, Drake concluded that there could be anywhere between a thousand and a hundred million extraterrestrial civilizations in our Milky Way alone. This documentary explores said equation and its conjectures, offering some quite intriguing theories regarding the existence of alien life. She's convinced that anything that can survive this intense arsenic bath would have to be structurally different, would have unique DNA fundamentally separate from life as we know it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Out of the Blue In this documentary, we will present unexplained cases from around the world, investigate 50 years of official contradictions and denials, and put forth possible reasons for secrecy. Out of the Blue doesn't have the unique angle that the Drake Equation does, but is nevertheless the definitive alien documentary. Narrated by Peter Coyote, this documentary from producer James Fox, not to be confused with Jamie Fox, features interviews with military personnel, government officials, and everyday people about their claimed personal experiences with UFOs. We said there was an object hovering outside the front gate, a reddish-orange oval-shaped object and uh, it just hung there quietly. By interviewing well-spoken people, presenting somewhat grounded stories, and acknowledging and even encouraging healthy skepticism, this documentary brings some good faith to the massive divide between believers and skeptics. Both Out of the Blue and its sequel, I Know What I Saw, are required viewing for anyone with even a remote interest in UFOs and extraterrestrial life. And he left it off, put the gear back in the well, and climbed down at a very high rate of speed and disappeared. Whether you're a believer or not, there's no denying that some of this evidence is compelling. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. Check out this video.